Israel's parliament on Monday approved the first major law in Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's contentious plan to overhaul the country's justice system, triggering a new burst of mass protest and drawing accusations that he was pushing the country toward authoritarian rule. The vote passed unanimously by Netanyahu's ruling coalition after the opposition stormed out of the hall, deepened the fissures that have tested the delicate social ties that bind the country, rattled the cohesion of its powerful military, and repeatedly drew concern from Israel's closest ally, the United States. It came just hours following Netanyahu's release from a hospital. As Netanyahu's allies celebrated their victory and vowed to press ahead with more changes, thousands of protesters took to the streets of Jerusalem and Tel Aviv, and opponents said they would challenge the new law in the Supreme Court. It's a sad day, opposition leader Yel Lapid said after the vote. This is not a victory for the coalition. This is the destruction of Israeli democracy. The overhaul calls for sweeping changes aimed at curbing the powers of the judiciary, from limiting the Supreme Court's ability to challenge parliamentary decisions to changing the way judges are selected. Netanyahu and his allies say the changes strengthen democracy by limiting the authority of unelected judges and giving elected officials more powers over decision-making. But protesters see the overhaul as a power grab fueled by personal and political grievances of Netanyahu, who is on trial for corruption charges and his partners.